Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to If I Die, This Playthrough Ends Oblivion Edition. I just realized I didn't set up a, uh... Stopwatch. Uh, I'm so stuffed up. Okay, there we go. Let me uh, resize this, and we are good to go. Yeah, welcome back to If I Die. This playthrough ends Oblivion Edition. Where the heck are we? Where the heck? Oh yeah, I wanted to um, climb back up this hill. I remember. Ooh, look at our gauntlets and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have silver armor, which I never, ever, ever use. They got those weird pauldron sort of things. Yep, you heard right. If I die, this playthrough ends. The rules are, if I die, uh, the screen will cut to black, and then I'll fill the time in for probably up to 30 minutes. And that'll be the end of the series, just to not give away if you see, like, a, you know, 12-minute episode. Huh, I wonder which episode he died in. You yeah, know? Uh, hello. Are you ready? We need to move out soon, while we still have a chance to strike. I'm ready. No, the voice was, I'm ready. Let's go. For Kvatch! For Kvatch! Breaking the Siege of Kvatch. Alright, this is a really dumb um, quest to do early, because this is very difficult, if I remember correctly. But we are going defense. I am very much a believer of the best offense is... The best defense is a good offense. But, gotta switch up my playstyle. Gotta go real, real slow boy this time around. Uh, slow and steady. Slow and sturdy. Breaking the Siege of Kvatch. I have entered the ruined city of Kvatch with Savli and Matthias and his men. We must clear the southern plaza before the survivors in the chapel can be rescued. Okay, so we're going to keep our magic. Um, that's the best you can do. All right, so these guys are easy enough to take down. Also, it'd be cool if our gauntlets gave us some extra... Okay, those things are scary. Okay, watching my HP at all times. Going to back up a little bit. Savly and Matthias is unconscious. That's like a... Clan fears are very scary. So we're going to go for the scamps first. Come on. Okay, he's dead. I love just punching these things to death. It's hilarious to me. Uh, we need to upgrade our restoration skill as well. Maybe... Oh, yes. I have a good idea. I have a good idea for where to go after... What the heck? Oh, someone conjured him. Oh, that Dramore over there is conjuring. I'm, like, trying to press Vats. I'm thinking to press Vat. I have helped Savly and Matthias and his men retake the Southern Plaza. I should talk to him about our next move. Okay, sorry. I know you're on my side. My bad. Okay, we got Dramora Churl with weak potion of anti venom, weak potion of sea stride, danger hard, absorb and absorb, 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 absorb skill security. Who the hell has anybody ever even used that ever once? Steel arrow, we're taking right, steel bow, sure, chainmail, gold. Okay, yeah, like I said, this is a really dumb quest to do early because this quest is very difficult. Um, or at least I remember it being difficult. Hello! <laughs> we wiped the bastards out! It's safe to pull those people out of the chapel. Let's get in there and make sure they're all right. Come on. This is only the beginning of the battle for Kabach. We can discuss the next phase once the civilians are safe. Sounds good. Looks like you have an arrow. Yeah, right there. I mean, okay. Guess you're just going to keep that one in there. That's fine. So, yeah, we need to upgrade our... Oh, you're not doing too good, buddy. We need to upgrade our restoration. Because uh, this... Um, what is this ability called? Heal minor wounds is really bad. There is a very good early game restoration Sir, for all that's left, Enemy, spell. Myself and these civilians. That's it? There's no one else? There were others, sir, but they refused to stay put. We tried to convince them it was dangerous, but they left anyway. I guess they didn't make it. Very well. The area outside the chapel has been cleared, and these people need to be taken to safety. Escort them to the camp south of here at once. But, sir, I want to help fight. You will, soldier. Once they're secure, get back here immediately. We'll need every available blade, and there'll be plenty of fighting to go around. Sir, yes, sir. Civilians, it's time to move out. Let's go. We've done it. I can't believe it. 
I didn't really think this would work. Maybe we do have a fighting chance. Oh, yes. We're not done. Not even close. This was only the first step. If this town is to be ours again, we'll need to get inside the castle. You've come this far with us. Will you go further? If we're truly going to succeed, I'll need much more of your help. I warn you, though. What we've seen so far is nothing compared to the battle that likely awaits us. Take a few moments to catch your breath and think it over. When you're ready, let me know and we'll get underway. Yeah, and he's not wrong. Um, I think... Sorry, I'm a little uh, sniffly today. I think um, this next part is genuinely going to be too difficult for where we are currently. It's probably going to be a great risk. So I think we try to get Martin and get on out of here, who is right there. The Hello. I heard about how you helped the guard drive the Daedra back. Well done. So if he sounds familiar, that's because he's voiced by Sean Bean. Infamously, I said Sheen Bean in, like, my Darvesh playthrough or one of the playthroughs. Uh, maybe, like, the original, the OG Oblivion playthrough on YouTube. Uh, but, yeah, Sean, Sean Bean voices Martin, Brother Martin. The Emperor told me to find you. The Emperor is dead. Who are you? What do you really want with me? You're Martin, right? The priest? Yes, I'm a priest. If you need a priest, I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. Gods are not... Were we playing a religious man? I think so, right? There is... Yeah, I think we're going to play a religious person because I never really... I usually play the opposite... There is a plan. We're part of it. What plan? What are you talking about? I prayed to Akatosh all through that terrible night, but no help came. Only more Daedra. What can you possibly know that would help me make sense of this? You are Uriel Septim's son. Emperor Uriel Septim? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. The Daedra came here for you. An entire city destroyed to get at me? Why? Because I'm the Emperor's son? Why would I lie to you? I don't know. It's strange. I... I think you might actually be telling the truth. What does this mean? What do you want from me? Come with me to Wainon Priory. You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. You gave them hope. You helped them drive the Daedra back. Yes. I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory and hear what Joffrey has to say. Lead on. Sounds good. But, uh, oh, sorry, what? The, huh? The heck? Gilbert de Salon. Uh, so yeah, this next quest for the, um, this next quest for, for Kavach, we're going to definitely put on hold. Uh, so we are going to press J and then go, look at our guy. He's built for tough. Let's see here. Sadly, Mattias has asked me to help with the next phase of the battle. Kvatch. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this one. I need to return to Wayne on Priory with Martin. Discuss our next move with Joffrey. Let's go, buddy. This way. Okay. Lucky to be alive. Looks like the path is clear. At least out here. But to our rear, great danger awaits. It was fast travel back to Wayne on Priory, which actually might be risky as well. I don't. Oh, yep. You must help. They're killing everyone at Wayne on Priory. I love how calm this voice actor sounds. So he goes from like, "Help! You must help!" to they're kill they're doing it. They're doing it now. Hold on. Tell me what happened. I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Prior Mabarel is dead. Who's attacking Wayne on Priory? I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. I heard the prior talking to someone. Looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers, ordinary. Suddenly, weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the prior down before he could move. They saw me watching, and I ran. Where's Joffrey? Is he safe? <sighs> I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us. Quest added, Wayne on Priory. Let's go, Martin. Okay. 
We gotta defend here. Also gotta make sure not to hit Mar- Oh, sorry if I hit you. I don't it's so difficult not to in Oblivion. It really is. Here, hit me, I dare ya. Hit me, I dare ya. Hit me. Whoa! Look at him go. Okay, bread loaf and some gold. Thank you. Do we do it? That was easy. Hello. Thank you. Four gold. I mean, I guess it's like four dollars. Your restoration skill increased your rest and meditate on what you've learned. So Prior Mabel's horse is now ours. We're going to take his gold. I think, yeah, our character would be a pragmatist as well. He would know that, like, well, he's not using the gold, even if it might be a little disrespectful. Uh, let's press F, and then what are we doing? Talking to you? I think we should find your friend Joffrey at once. Follow me. I'm with you. Okay, so we got to find your boy Joffrey, I think. Oh, he's right there. Maybe. Hello. God's blood. That came out of nowhere. Have you seen Grandmaster Joffrey? Aronar said he was in the chapel. Quick. He may need our help. Let's go. Uh, by the way, watch out. Your health is really low, buddy, and I don't have a heal other spell, just to let you know. Your timing is yeah. I'll take the one on the right. Yeah. Well... Yeah, it's so hard not to hit your friends, especially if you're. Why won't you? You're back, thank Talos. They attacked without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. The amulet of kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. We need to go see if it is safe. I'll go check on the amulet. We'll go together. But I fear the worst. Well, how would they know about it unless we've been infiltrated? Okay, excuse me. Mythic Dawn Leader. Even the leader only has three gold. How disappointing. Uh, we've got an altar here. Rejoice through faith. Your afflictions are banished. Uh, let's see. We've got Mythic Dawn Agent. Thank you. Uh, we've got Brother Martin, who is very, very mad at the moment. We've got three gold there. Anytime. Uh, let's press F to put our gauntleted fists away. And let's go see if the amulet is present or not. Greetings, Red Guard. They've taken it. The amulet of kings is gone. The enemy has defeated us at every turn. I found Martin. He is safe. So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Where will Martin be safe? Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. But we must play for time, at least. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. We should leave at once. Tell me about the Amulet of Kings. With the amulet taken by the enemy, we must get Martin to safety at Cloud Ruler Temple. Tell me about Cloud Ruler Temple. Cloud Ruler Temple was built long ago by the founders of the Blades, back in the days of Raymond Cyrodiil. It is high in the mountains near Bruma. Goodbye. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Which would be good lore-wise for this playthrough. Oh, the amu the amulet is here. Uh, I wonder. I don't like how all of this stuff is illegal to look through. How does that make sense? Am I not a part of this? Hi there. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Uh, what are we doing now? Do 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 do. We agree that we must find someone safe to some place safe to take Martin Joffrey suggested Cloud Ruler Temple, the hidden blaze fortress near Broom. I should escort Martin Joffrey there immediately. Immediately. I think we just need to find it ourselves. That'd be a cool base of operations. Oh, we have battle. Oh, yeah. We're trying to save up money for the personal quarters for battle. Uh, whatever that one place is. Okay, guys. Uh, well, uh, all right. Are you going to follow me? I, I want to do some other stuff. Wait, what? You can just fast travel to Cloud Ruler Temple? Okay, that makes it easy as pie. Yeah, what's up, everybody? Forgot about that. Okay. Hello! We're here! Looks like it's illegal to enter until you do this quest. Grandma. 
Master, is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. Good afternoon. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an Emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come, your blades are waiting to greet you. Oh, I actually wonder if we can get Blades armor. I don't remember because I never ever use heavy armor in uh, Oblivion. I wonder if you can get Blades armor and Blades weapons this early. It seems like very early to get a good set of stuff like that, but that might happen. We shall see. Ba -bum -bum -bum. Looks like we're waiting right about here. Blades. Dark times are upon us. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn! Hail, hail, hail Martin, Martin Septim. Septim! Hail! Hail! Your Highness, the blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Joffrey, all of you. I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but... I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. We need to get the amulet back. Of course. The Amulet of Kings. So we, I, can take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires and stop the Oblivion invasion. And you will be the Emperor. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, we need the Amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. Tell me more about the Amulet of Kings. All practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and Oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the Amulet is the key to the preservation of that barrier. What I saw at Kavach. Everything I know about Daedric magic says that such stable portals are impossible. Yet those gates to Oblivion existed. The old rules no longer apply. Kavach is only the beginning of what Mayrun's Dagon will do. If the amulet is truly the key to restoring the barriers between our world and Oblivion, you must waste no time in recovering it. Me? Tell me about Daedric magic. I haven't always been a priest. I know more than I want to about the seductive power of Daedric magic. Tell me more about the Oblivion Gate. Something has changed to make these stable portals to Oblivion possible. Joffrey believes that the death of the Emperor and the darkening of the Dragonfires is the key. Good evening, Don't worry about me, my friend. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? What are my duties as a blade? The blades are sworn to the service of the Emperor as the mortal representative of the dragon blood of the divine Talos. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> yes, I will join the blades. It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a knight brother of the blades. Akaviri Katana added. Yeah, I could really use some armor, actually. Tell me about the blades. This fortress is well supplied with arms and armor. Okay, cool. The East Wing has armor. Tell me about Cloud Ruler Temple. This place was built by Raymond Cyrodiil Zakaviri Dragon Guard at the founding of the Second Empire. Since then, 
It has served the Blades as headquarters, fortress, and sanctuary. Tell me about the Amulet of Kings. You're right. We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassins. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. Tell me more about the Amulet of Kings. The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything now. Once we have it back, Martin can use it to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. Yes? Yes. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to do here. Uh, first of all, we want to find a bed. Yeah, see, th this is my thing with Oblivion. It's like, look at this room here. There's just nothing in it. It's like, come on, man. Oblivion feels very big and open, but there's just like... I just wish it was a little more detailed, if that makes sense. Okay, let's try to find a bed so we can level up. I'm surprised to see hello, 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 hello. Um, there's a bunch of weird stuff you can do at Cloud Ruler Temple. Where does this go? Door to Cloud Ruler Temple West Wing. So the East Wing is the Armory, right? So this one might have the barracks. And indeed it does. I actually don't know. Ooh, yeah. Look at all this stuff here. Blue and green outfit. Plaid shirt. Blades gauntlets. Blades greaves. Blades shield. Blades boots. Blades greaves. Yeah. Akaviri katana. Boil them. Mash them. Stick them in a stew. Uh, can I use this bed? Okay, it's 3.52 p.m., 24 would be 3.52 p.m., 12 would be 3 a.m., 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll be waking up early like I have been lately. My God, I've been waking up so... When you date somebody that is an early bird, you just kind of slowly become an early bird yourself. And uh, I never wish this life for me, but I've been waking up at freaking... Like, 7 and 8? What the heck? I'm a YouTuber. I should be waking up at noon, you know what I'm saying? You've ascended to level four. You've done things the hard way, but without taking risks, taking responsibility for failure. How could you have understood? And we're going to do endurance, because again, increasing endurance early will stack upon itself. And we're going to do strength, and we're going to do speed. Yep, those are the three that we want, so it's good that we keep getting those. Uh, okay. And then we've got a blade helmet. I think the only thing we're missing is the curus. Not sure if there's a curus anywhere. Also, it looks like we could take this stuff, so let's look through these real quick. I've never actually fully uh, explored Cloud Ruler Temple all that much. Uh, again, you want to take calipers and tongs. Most people probably know why, but if you don't, Sir. that'll... Sir! Royland? Oh. <laughs> trying to adjust to everything that is okay, I got a sniffle, so give me a, give me a second here. <sighs> My freaking nose is being a jerk, and also I have to cough. <coughs> there we go. Okay, um... J. So this stuff should be better, as far as I understand. Blades, boots, heavy arbor. Uh, let's see. Two defense here. Click, 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 click. Uh, we are going to drop this. Uh, steel boots. So they just look cooler, but yeah, we need a curus. I, I guess it's like the same. Three, two, 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 eight. Yeah, the steel set is around the same. Yeah. Wish Oblivion had more of a difference in terms of, like... Wish Oblivion had more of a difference in terms of, like, uh, different equipment and how it, um, you know, different equipment values and stuff. Door to Cloud Ruler Temple. Okay, there's a couple of things to do here, like I said. Uh, let's wait two hours, because I think something will happen out here that we can interact with. Right? So if you remember when we went to the... If you remember when we went to the uh, the uh, arena, we watched those people do the uh, fist fighting, and then we increased our one-handed, or our un unarmed. Okay, Joffrey, don't ruin this. Imagine being Joffrey and casually walking through two people throwing swords at each other. Uh, throwing sword strikes at each other. I believe, I think every time I always question whether or not this will actually do it, and then it always does, and I'm like, oh yeah, I was right about that. But I think if you sit here and watch these two swordsmen attack each other for a while, we'll get a uh, similar message. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm not making that up. I actually am not 100% sure. You have to sit here for an uncomfortable amount of time, though, just like the unarmed increase. Come on, tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm right. 
And I'm wondering if I'm in the wrong spot. Uh -huh. Your blade skill increased. By observing these blades at practice, your block skill increased. You picked up a couple of new moves. Your blade and block skills have both been raised by two points. I knew it. Yep. That's one thing at Cloud Ruler Temple. Uh, the last thing I think is this way. There's another thing too, but I don't think we can do it just yet. It involves Renault's katana. Wooden door to the temple armory. We need that curus. Captain Renault's Hail. katana. Hello. Sorry, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Try one of the other blades. Perhaps Roland or Cyrus. Okay. I heard Roland was canceled though. Uh, let's see. Blades gauntlet, steel shirt. Where is the curus? Blades curus. There we go. Blade shield armory. Akaviri die katana. That's a N64 game that I need to get. Uh, what is the difference between... Okay, so this one gives you five damage, but otherwise it's the same thing. You got a full set of stuff here. Uh, we're not using blades, so we don't really care about the die katana. Steel arrows we want, however, even though they weigh something in oblivion. Um, let's see. Blades helmet. I don't think steel bow. I think otherwise we're good. Uh, I just kind of would like to fully explore this place to see if there's any skill books or anything. Dwemer history and culture. Aren't the Oblivion... Don't the... Oh, yeah. Here we go. The legendary Scourge? What do they have to be? 75 in Oblivion? 75 value in order to be a skill book. Yo, what up, dude? Uh, let's see. Any... Oh. Rem Remonada? Maybe they're like 100? Because these are not giving me any skill ups. The Waters of Oblivion. I thought it was 75. I could be wrong. I guess you can take all these books and sell them if you want. Akil? Please forgive me, but I'm afraid I haven't got time to talk right now. One of the other blades should be able to assist you. Uh, try Jenna or Stefan. See, this is one thing that Oblivion doesn't do all that well either, is like these characters. It's like, why are they even characters? They don't say anything really. Unless the other characters do, but there's not a reason to really talk to them. I know that for sure. How about you? Varieties of Daedra. Uh, let's see. How about you? Okay, come on. At least put one skill book here. What do you say? All right, before I forget, let's go ahead and equip that Blades Curus. And now we are fully set. You might think that's pretty bad to have, like, stuff without enchantments. But keep in mind, you can enchant all this yourself. Which would be a cool thing for our character to do. Okay, I think that's everything that we can do in Cloud Ruler Temple, except for that one interaction involving Renault's katana, but that is going to be later. I'm not sure if any of these people will say anything interesting. I've never really, like I said, explored Cloud Ruler all that much and talked to everybody. Uh, let us go to the Imperial City Market District. I think we're going to stop doing the main quest for now. Just wanted to kind of get started here a little bit. Let's wait until... 6.43 p.m. Let's see. Yeah, actually, that should be fine. Okay, so current objective now is probably to get a better restoration spell because this restoration spell is not going to cut it. Now, there is a early game, very good restoration spell, but it requires us to join a... The heck? Requires us to join a faction that I don't think this character would, at least not now. Whatever you need, I'm at your service. Hello. Also, we got to work on our speech craft whenever of we course. can. We can't with this Have guy. Have a look at my wares. Have I'm a look sure at my wares. Okay, we're going to sell the Akaviri uh, Katana. Dramora Mace we're going to keep as a blunt weapon. Silver arrows. Uh, let's keep silver arrows because silver arrows can hit ghosts in this game. So we will sell the steel arrows. The steel bow. A good keep a bow on hand. Or a good custom. Steel boots, goodbye. 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 Uh, let's see. Healing. Gotta sell the potions before they get out of hand. Sorcery, weak potion of anti-venom. Push of healing, sea stride. Water walking is useless? Yeah, it's pretty useless in this game, I'm thinking, unless I'm forgetting. It can actually hurt you when you're trying to... Um... When you're trying to, uh, like, get beneath the water for certain things. Uh, we'll keep two Daedra Hearts and a Garlic. Battle Horn Castle Upgrades, Bloodstained Notes. Let's see. Want five of these. Remember, don't sell that. Repair Hammer, we want to keep on hand, too. Uh, we have 2,000 gold. We are close to being able to get the Battle Horn Castle Bedroom. We only need 400 more gold. 
Which again, if I was playing a character that was not virtuous, we could easily just go to... Could easily just go to... Um, um, uh, the arena and steal 500 gold out of the chest. And then we'd be able to get ourselves a thing, which would be nice. But we're going to do it uh, virtuously, I suppose. And now... We're going to switch gears, because it would be cool to get a cool restoration spell. Uh, so, we will go to... Let's go to Coral... Or Chaden Hall. Yeah, Chaden Hall we haven't been to yet. We're going to go to Chaden Hall, and that'll be where we end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Big thank you to my patrons on Patreon, whose names you're about to see. Big thank you to my Twitch subscribers on Twitch. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.